This story comes from Mexico and honestly the ending is fucking crazy. There's this guy who's going to school to be a teacher and that is also where he met his girlfriend. The last thing they need to do in order to graduate is social working which requires them to go to small rural areas of towns and teach the children in those towns. So he got lucky and he got to teach a school that was close by where they lived. However, his girlfriend got a very very rural area to the point where she was staying there for the week and then coming back home on the weekends. So he says that it's been like three or four weeks where she goes stays there for the week comes back on the weekends but every time she comes back she just looks different she looks tired she looks like she's going through it over there he sees that she's jumpy that she's nervous so he decided to ask her if she was okay and she tells them no it's just nothing you have to worry about i'll deal with it it's just things in that school so he tells her oh if it's something's difficult maybe i can go to school with you just let me know and i can help and she was like no nothing you need to worry about so he says that time passes and you would think that his girlfriend would come back looking confident like taking care of everything but every time she comes back she looks worse and worse she looks tired she looks like she's scared of something she's paranoid he mentions that when the girl's parents heard that she was gonna have to drive far they actually bought a car for her and he noticed that when she would drive she started to really not care like she would hit curbs she would break really fast like her car was looking worse and worse too so he just decided to like ask her what is wrong and tell her that you need to tell me like we need to fix this what is going on and that was when she told him it's because they send me to a town of witches when he hears her say that he almost starts laughing because he took it as like these people were evil they're bad and he starts laughing and telling her i mean there's bad people everywhere though is that really just the problem so she looks at him like what do you mean there's bad people everywhere i am telling you that they send me to a town of witches and that's when he finally took in what she was saying and he was like wait what do you mean witches so she tells him that they send her to a town where all of the children in that school have moms who are witches so she explains to him that these moms the witches they want to have control over their kids and because she's there to educate them and discipline them they're not taking that lightly and basically she's become enemy number one to every mom in that town and he was like well why does that affect you so much like just try to get along with them and try to finish up and come back home and that is when the girl opens up her backpack and starts taking things out she takes out like pieces of wood that are tied together she takes out another thing that's like bound with a ribbon and she explains to him that there's been several occasions where she goes into her class and on her chair are dead animals that she has to take out she says that on more than one occasion when she finds those dead animals there's like paper attached to them with really weird sayings so she knows that it's them trying to do something to her so that's when he was like okay so they're threatening you she tells him no I think that it's more than that I honestly think that they're doing witchcraft on me she was like I don't know what I'm dealing with and I am not comfortable going over there he tells her well you have to go because if you fail this you're not gonna graduate they're gonna suspend you for a year and you're gonna have to repeat that class so he was like keep going and let me see what I can do on my end maybe there's an opening where I'm at but you have to keep going because you cannot fail so the weekend ends and she goes back to that town and he's still like worried he's trying to figure out what he can do he's contacting different people in that moment he receives a phone call from his girlfriend so he answers the phone and when he answers all he hears is i was right i was right they're witches i was right please help me so he asks where she is and she tells him so he tells her drive to this plaza and i'm gonna meet you there so he says that when he gets to the plaza where they're gonna meet he sees that her car had crashed into a tree he sees that his girlfriend is laying on the ground next to the car when he gets closer he sees that she's awake but she's laying there just talking to her herself and he can't make sense of anything that's coming out of her mouth and he thinks to himself like oh my god like what if these ladies gave her drugs like what if they did something to her because she was not all the way there so he says that he goes to pick her up and when he does that he finally sees her face and when he does he says that her eyes are all blacked out it was so unexpected that he almost froze and the only thing he could think to do was start praying however when he started praying she started laughing at him and after she was laughing she started saying ha you're not gonna be able to do anything she's gone forever and then she just drops to the ground started convulsing and saying so many bad words that he had never even heard her say so he's in shock he's never had to deal with any situation like this so he gets his phone and calls his family and when he does they're like take her and he's like well what if she doesn't want to go with me and they're like you need to force her in that car and take her back home 
And that's what he did. He forced her in the car, drove her back. They even left her car back there. They did not care. This girl ended up in a psych ward. The family basically told him that he shouldn't see her anymore because they don't think that she's crazy. They think that she's possessed. And he listened to his family. That's what he did. He cut her off. Till this day, has never gone to search what happened with her. He doesn't know anything of her because he literally never contacted her or her family ever again. He believes that these witches did something to her that caused her to become possessed.